Hello and welcome to another video on AWS. If you are watching my video for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've planned to create more such hands-on videos on cloud and DevOps. So without further delay, let's jump onto the implementation. Today we are going to implement how to delegate access across AWS accounts using IAM roles. So before we begin the implementation, let's first understand the scenario. We have two AWS accounts. ASI development and ASI production. Under the ASI development account, we have ASI dev user who is a part of ASI developers group and an ASI dev server instance. On the other hand, in the production account, we have an ASI production bucket which stores some text files. Now the requirement is both the user and the EC2 instance requires read-only access to the S3 bucket. So this requirement can be fulfilled using IAM rules. Now let's look at the solution that we are going to implement. Starting with production account, Firstly, we will create the IAM policy which will have read-only access to the S3 bucket. Then we will create an IAM role which will trust the development account and we will attach the IAM policy created earlier. Moving on to the development account, we will first create policy which will allow to assume the production role. We will then add the same policy in the ASI developers group. Then we will create an IAM role and add the policy to that particular role. Once the role is created, we will bind that role to the ASI dev server EC2 instance. And finally, we will test the setup and try to access the S3 bucket from the local machine using the ASI dev credentials and using IAM role attached from the EC2 instance. Let's first have a look at what is already set up. In the production account, I have already created ASI production bucket and there is a sample file data.txt. In the development account, I have already created an user group ASI developers and there is an ASI dev user. Apart from that, I have also provisioned an ASI dev server EC2 instance. Now let's get our hands dirty and start the implementation. First, log in into the production account. Choose policies from the left navigation pane. Create policy. Choose the JSON tab. I have the policy handy. This policy will allow list all my buckets. List bucket. Get bucket location. And finally, it will allow to get all objects from the bucket. Then choose next. Tags here are optional. I am not going to add any tags for the demo. Choose next. Let's enter a name for the IAM policy. Description is optional. You may choose to add any description of your choice and choose to create policy. Now you can see the policy read only ASI production bucket in the policies list. Once the policy is created, we have to create the corresponding role. Choose roles. Choose create role. 
select aws as the trusted entity type select another aws account let me grab the account id from the asi production account and paste it into the text box and choose next Now you can see the policy which was created earlier. Select the checkbox beside that policy and choose next. Enter the role name and description of your choice. Here again description is optional. Verify everything and choose create role. You can now see the role is created. Let's quickly verify whether the role is created as expected or not. The production configuration is now done. Now let's move to the development account. Go to services section and I am. Choose policies. Choose the JSON tab. I already have JSON policy handy with me. So we are allowing assume role permissions on the IAM role, which was created in the production account. Choose next. I'm not adding any tags here. Let's enter the role name and the description and choose create policy. We can now see the policy in the list. Since we have to provide S3 read only access to the ASI dev user, let's navigate to the user groups. Choose the permissions tab. Choose add permissions, then attach policies and select the policy which was created in the previous step. Access to the user is now sorted. Let's configure access to the ASI dev server EC2 instance as well. Choose roles from the navigation pane. Choose create role. Select the AWS service trusted entity type as we are going to bind this to an EC2 instance. Under common use cases, select EC2 and choose next. Add the same policy which was added to the user group in the previous step. Choose next. Enter name and description of your choice and choose create role. Access to EC2 is not configured yet. Navigate to EC2 console. Select the ASI dev server instance. Choose actions. Security. Modify IAM role. Select the IAM role. And choose save. Now access to both user and EC2 instance is now configured. Now let's test it one by one. I have already configured the user's access key and secret key on my local machine.
since we have to assume the production IAM rule, we will have to run the command AWS STS assume rule with the role ARN and the role session name. We will get temporary credentials that is the access key, secret key and the session token to access the production role for our user. Let's configure those in our terminal by using the export command. Let me do it for all of the three. Now test the access by running the s3ls command with the bucket name. We can see that we have got access to the s3 bucket from our development user and we can see the sample file data.txt. Our first use case is done. Now let's configure the EC2 instance. Navigate to EC2 console. Select the ASI dev server. Choose connect. If the config file is not present, please create it in the AWS config path. And configure the profile for our production role. The credential source would be EC2 instance metadata. Let's save and exit. Let's run the s3ls command along with the profile parameter. We can see the file data.txt. Let me try what happens without the profile parameter. So we have successfully tested cross account access from user as well as EC2 instance. Should you have any queries, please feel free to comment or reach out to me at ajitinamdar.tech at gmail.com.